Right, part two of the voltage display um, that I've added to the Type 25. Uh, now, last time I showed this, it was actually it was in the dark, and um, one of the changes I've made since then is putting the stereo on the ledger battery. I'm not actually using the ledger battery. I'm using two car batteries uh, with a split charge relay. Obviously car batteries don't hold a charge quite as long but it's uh, but for for me it was a case of getting the stereo which is a bit power hungry off the main starter battery so I'm, I'm not stuck with a flat battery all the time um, and literally if I sit there for 45 minutes with the stereo on the charging battery will be flat as a pancake which is no good to anyone so I've this morning put the stereo on the leisure battery now what you're seeing on the display at the moment, the switch is switched to my charging battery. Now if I switch to the ledger battery, it's showing well, just over 12 volt. But it's quite interesting this because, as I say, my stereo is, I don't know what the wattage is actually, um, but it's kind of DVD MP3 player, which is pretty good. Uh, but anyway, it, but it does consume power. I mean, just just to give you an idea. Now you watch; it's going to get loud, but but you watch um, the voltage oh, when it, when I when I start cranking this up. stop the stereo I've never quite figured out all the controls on this anyway but, but essentially what I've done the switch to the right it's a kind of a, a three-way switch so the center the uh, two-way rather uh, the so it's got three terminals on it the center pin goes to the positive supply for the meter and the two pins on each side one goes to one battery one goes to the other so you know obviously I mean so it's showing the ledger battery at the moment Incidentally, before I connected the stereo up, which uh, and we've mentioned on 89 a few times about um, the power consumption of modern stereos and just you know even the uh, supply just to hold the memory for the um, station seems to seem to flatten batteries. Um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I mentioned that, but uh, but since I've connected that, it. Both batteries were showing about 12.3, 12.4, and as soon as I connected the stereo, it dropped about 12.22. So it just shows you what it's using. Uh, and so I can switch back to the main battery and across to the ledger battery. Now, Angelo EBS, hi, <laughs> uh, mentioned that you can actually get these meters as a dual function, a voltage meter and an ammeter, and in hindsight I wish I'd done that now, uh, but there you go. But as I say, the good thing about this is it does give you a, a reasonable impression of, you know, just what your batteries are doing, and if you are split charging, rather than saying, I don't know why my battery's charging, I don't know if it is, at least you can know that it is. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching.